I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, endoleak type 2b. Case courtesy is demonstrated here. Case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a 90-year-old male presenting with rectal bleeding and a drop in hemoglobin. This patient underwent endovascular abdominal aortic aneurysm repair 10 years earlier. Taking a look at the CT of the abdomen and pelvis with contrast, we can see the aortal bi-iliac stent graft. We also see a saccular aneurysm bulging out anteriorly from the inferior edge of the infrarenal abdominal aorta. There are streaks of contrast material in the aneurysm, representing active bleeding. These streaks enlarge significantly between the arterial and the portal venous scans. Additionally on imaging, this patient was found to be status post total gastrectomy and splenectomy. We have a homogeneously enhancing ovoid structure in the pancreatic tail, most probably an intrapancreatic splenule. This patient also is found to have cortical and parapelvic renal cysts, including a large cortical cyst in the upper pole of the left kidney. There's also mesenteric paniculitis and innumerable diverticula along the descending and sigmoid colon. This patient was admitted for workup for rectal bleeding and abdominal pain. CT angiography revealed an endoleak and a huge saccular aneurysm that was shown to be a type 2B endoleak, as several arteries were involved. Strangely enough, the endoleak occurred 10 years after stent graft placement. The width of the aneurysm the time of stent graft placement was 6.3 centimeters compared to 11.5 centimeters on the present CT study. Angiography demonstrated a patent IMA and a lumbar artery. The patient underwent laparotomy whereby a saccotomy was performed and the IMA and lumbar artery were ligated. An endoleak is characterized by persistent blood flow within the aneurysm sac following endovascular aneurysm repair. Normally, the aortic stent graft used for EVAR excludes the aneurysm from the circulation by providing a conduit for blood to bypass the sac. Type 1 is a leak at graft attachment site. Type 2 is an aneurysm sac filling via branch vessels. This is the most common, 2A being a single vessel, 2B being two vessels or more. Type 3 is a leak through a defect in the graft. Type 4 is a leak through the graft fabric as a result of graft porosity, often intraoperative, intraoperative, and resolved with cessation of anticoagulants. Type 5 is continued expansion of the aneurysm sac without demonstrable leak on imaging. A type 2 endoleak refers to an endoleak due to flow through an open collateral arteries, as we said before. They may become simple or complex. Simple leaks usually occur secondary to backflow from collateral arteries, most notably from the inferior mesenteric and lumbar vasculature. They may also occur from other aortic collaterals such as the internal iliac, median sacral, or accessory renal arteries.